Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and this is Beans. She thinks she's gonna get an early dinner, but you're not. I hate to tell you that, but you're welcome to stay and watch a movie with me. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, what? Well, move your tail. Welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to watch your older classic movies. On Fridays, my tip top patrons, my millennial movie members, get to pick any movie from any genre, from any year, anything, and I gotta watch it. Today just so happens to be an 80s classic as well. I've seen it mentioned a few times. If you haven't read the title or haven't seen the thumbnail, it's a 1988 movie big. So let's get right into my preview review. Um, the title gives absolutely nothing away. Also, if you hear something weird in the background of my videos, it's because I'm usually in here brushing her because this is the only time she'll stay still. No, I got a crusty butt. The only thing I know about this is that y'all have told me that once I see this movie, I'm going to have another future ex-husband. If you don't know, I have a long list of future ex-husbands of men that could get it. A member of the Hot Mess Express has made me some etched glasses and this one actually says Ashley's current list of men who could get it. I got Gene Wilder, Bill Murray, Richard Pryor, Richard Dreyfuss, Steve Martin, Harrison Ford, John Candy, Kurt Russell, and sometimes Arnold Schwarzenegger, but that's up for debate. If you want to know why, go watch the Predator reaction. Anyways, I have been told that once I see a young Tom Hanks, I will have a future, another future ex-husband to add to that list. So all I know is that Tom Hanks is in this and apparently it's a younger Tom Hanks. Does that really seem like a good thing to rub on? You're not getting early dinner. Come here. Get in my lap. You're being too much. Come here. Here, you want a blanket? She does love this Sarah Paulson blanket. You love Sarah Paulson. Who doesn't? So all I know about this movie is the title and the fact that Tom Hanks is in it. This has been the weirdest preview review I've ever done because it's mostly me talking to Beans. Um, I don't want to look up a movie for... I don't want to look up a movie poster because I feel like I've done that uh, a couple times recently. So I'm just going into it knowing the title and that there's a young Tom Hanks. So let's see what his shenanigans are and let's get right on into this Millennial Movie member request, which is the 1988 Big. Evil wizard all around you are the you carcasses of slain ice dwarfs. I want to play this game. One minute! Come on, come on, come on! Melt him! With luck, you will thaw in several million years. Only several. BRB, you gotta go find this game and start a streaming channel. A Penny Marshall film! Shakes off the first signal, takes the Okay, third. two Penny Marshall films so far, and both have baseball references. Well, one's about baseball. It's desk when she's writing papers or something. She leaned over, you can see right down her shirt. You nasty. That is the most 80s hair on a kid I have ever seen. I want a friend friendship like they have. Extra funny that I started this out saying, I want a friend. <laughs> Good night, Billy. I gotta go. Good night, Mrs. Baskin! All them bitches scary cats, I call them Carol Baskin. Eh. Wimpy, that's so good. You're not a pansy at least. I've never been brave enough to ride one of those big circle things. Can't do it. That's smooth. You're doing great. Right over there. Oh, don't ruin this for him. This son. You must be at least this big to ride this ride. Oh, that sucks. That's embarrassing. Okay, she wouldn't be tall enough if it went for them big old side ponytails she'd be wearing. I think I've uh, put together the plot of this movie. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to ruin it for myself. Zoltar! You know what? I see those everywhere. I wish I were big. I knew it. I knew the plot. I didn't know he was going to wish it on this, but... <laughs> oh, it's not even plugged in? Creepy, but also very cool. Reason number 8072, I do not want a child. This. Josh! Look at him, little undies! How is his family gonna react to this? I can't wait. Oh lord! Look at some Tom Hanks legs! Is this his first movie, I wonder? I'll have to look it up afterwards. Is he naked? Am I gonna see Tom Hanks booty? Oh my 
my god, look at him. He's so cute. Oh my god, look at his muscles. Look at his arms. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Tom Hanks could get it. How's his family gonna react to this? Or is everybody gonna see him small and he's big? Well, that wouldn't make sense. Yep, that is chest hair. Oh, uh, look at your little what? Don't do it. Oh my god. Look at his little degrees on Tom Hanks' booty! What do we do? How do we handle it? Oh, he's gonna get hit with something. Like, Who's a stranger man holding my daughter? Oh, honey, you got. Okay. <laughs> That bike's a little too small for you now. Just like them dungarees. Is that the Golden Gate Bridge? I think it is. Don't, don't oh, sorry, sorry. He thought. <laughs> uh, I made this for you. Who are you calling? Oh wow, well, there it was. Gone now. <laughs> you missed a simple layup, nerd. Tom looks crazy. You're doing great. A biscuit! You look terrible. <laughs> Don't say that about my future ex-husband. It's an emergency fund. Jesus, really? Well, what do you call this? An emergency? My goodness, how Times Square has changed. Look at what Tom Hanks is wearing! Nice. It looks like it smells bad. What if I can't sleep? It's probably better if you don't. <laughs> you gonna go all the way home in the middle of the night, in the middle of New York. You're brave. You a brave one. It ain't me. I'd be using all those locks. So I think I would see how much room is under the bed. I think I would sleep under the bed on the floor. See? One month to process. You get it in six weeks. Oh, that sucks. Can't be different school. What are you good at? I don't know. Making spitballs? How about it? It's a talent. Gross. Yeah, gross. Paper up. I don't think I can put that. He wrote circulation director? Yeah. Ooh, we love we love a creative title for a basic job. 32, 17, 25. <gasps> it's a <locker> combination. <laughs> That's not how security numbers work. Social security, sorry. Son, you should sit down and don't give the lady any trouble now. Sure, Dad. <laughs> I bet that was an awkward exchange for her. It says here you've got four years experience. Yes. All on computers. Computer games, but experience. Did you pledge? Yes. Every morning. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not getting any of my mail. Nothing has been filed. Her shoulder pads. Oh my god, that old ass computer. Who's Piston? Hey. Hey. He looks familiar. Who is that guy? Legs so tight, you'll be begging for mercy. Oh, well, I'll stay away from her then. <laughs> it's okay, you don't know any better. It's, been a while. it's good for him. I don't know, sir. Maybe you should see a doctor. I know. Ooh. Nothing at all. Yep, right, Paul. Look at his thick ass tie. Oh, he can't come to the phone right now. Why not? Why not? He's at work. Isn't there something else that you'd rather ask him? Ask him. What's the embarrassing song? I want to know. All oh, you ladies pop your pussy like this. Memories. Like the corner of my mind. <laughs> I don't know this song. We'll talk about this later. Oh yeah, and I guess there's no caller ID. I guess there's no instant callback. Okay, well. Ooh, his foot scraping across the wall. That's disgusting. Oh, you're unfazed by gunfire now? Good for you. So how would you like that? In money, please. Three dimes, a hundred dollar bill, and eighty-seven ones. Why? Why? 
Why is this giving me the Lost Boy vibes? <laughs> that must be a boy thing. Okay, it looks kind of fun though. That clock is nightmare fuel. Are those like mobile laser tag vests? That's so fun! <laughs> and if you do the. Oh my god, I love piano steps. There's a bar in Nashville that has a stairwell or a staircase that's this, and I love that. Look at Tom Hanks getting it! Yes! This is so fun! A child and a grown man fighting, a grown man finding his inner child. I love it! Vice President in charge of product development. Vice President? Wow, he had a huge jump! You know, that only cost 10 bucks to make. Get out of here! Pure profit, baby. And have him edit out all the commercials and talking and stuff. <laughs> Why does she act so scared of him? He can't come from nowhere, Susan. He has to come from somewhere. How about him? He looks familiar too. I don't know who that is. Then we should see one quarter of that, and that is one fifth of the total revenue from all of that. That's a lot of fractions I can't keep up with. But I'm sure that made sense to somebody. Just, you just don't. He doesn't come, just come to a meeting and say bugs. <laughs> he doesn't come to a meeting and say bugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, who wants to play with a skyscraper? Brand new bathroom with a jet stream jacuzzi. Oh, nice. It super sucks that he's this successful and can't even tell his parents. I just love that he bought this nice ass apartment, it has a very cute little red bunk bed. I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> Why is she so stressed? I think it's the same as the maitre d's. <laughs> I don't get that joke. <laughs> wow, he showed up to show out. Damn. Now that's what I call a tuxedo. That's what I call a choice. Mm. They just don't throw classy parties like this anymore. Also, what is wrong with her dress? That is not cute. Is he eating the cream cheese out of celery? I would do the same, honestly. Oh, double dipping, abs- oh my god. Oh, stop. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. That is disgusting. That's my biggest fear. I hate- it's not a big fear, but disgusting. What is that? Is that one of those baby cord things? It is. What are those? I always throw them away whenever I get them because I don't know how to eat them. It's beluga. McMillan orders it every year. Beluga. Like the whale? Sometimes. Yeah, ma'am. That, oh, I could never. That's like me eating the black licorice from the UK. Is this your car? Well, it's a company's car. Oh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I rode in a limo one time. It was at prom. This is a very sad story. I'll tell you later. Hold on. Are you going to call someone before? No. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it fell down. I'm have you always lived alone? No, not always. No, I used to live with my parents. It can be painful, but that's what they invented Xanax for, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I use it to get through plane rides. Do you mean sleep over? This is weird for him. Okay. But I get to be on top. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at Gumby! Just have some fun for once, you crotch the old bitch. Here you go. Here you go. Now power yeah. jump that bitch and send her into the ceiling. Oh, that's cute. That is sex appeal. So they glow in the dark compass room. So you won't get lost. So you won't get lost! That's cute. I want Tom Hanks to send me a glow in the dark compass ring. So how are you gonna explain this to you, boo? That you stayed over at another man's house, but literally nothing. <laughs> Nothing sexual happened, for real. You have to play with everything? Maybe if somebody played with you, you wouldn't be so crotchety. What is this game? Are they hitting it against the wall? 
What is this game? This is so fun. I want to play it. It's a sport I might actually be good at. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Look at her side profile. The jawline, the nose. Oh my god. Ties and your exercise Susan. tape. Oh, and I want my keys back. Oh, we break it up. Suck it. What is so special about Baskin? He's not a douchebag. He's a grown up. Wow. Well, joke's on you, Susan. <laughs> okay, what place does this? I want to go there. I know what we can do. We can go out. We get some beers, some dirty magazines. Um, go I back. can't, Billy. Big day for Billy. Okay, thanks again, Billy. It was fun. Don't get too big that you forget Billy. But he's going on a date with Susan. Let's go back to his place. <laughs> that place is fun. That's me on the coaster. The last time I rode one, I psyched myself out and I I blacked out on the ride and I had a bruise the length of my forearm. You know what, for, for a nine year old or however old he's supposed to be, he walked past his old car. As I was saying for like a nine year old, he really knows the romance. I've been thinking about you a lot in my car, lying in bed. Oh. There's something I think I should tell you. What? Is that what you think it is, girl? <gasps> he kissed her! Oh. Wow. Billy ain't gonna believe this. Now, Joshua, do you know what comes next? Do you know what comes next? Oh, Lord, Josh, how are you feeling? Check in with us. Just get a little handful. Just get a little, just a little, just. Oh, my God, Josh. Oh my god. Billy is not gonna believe this. He's never washing that hand again. Lord! That right there, friends, is the power of a good punani, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, okay. One point. Yeah, I could not do this. Reason number 9,020, 70 that I'm not gonna have kids because I could barely do my own homework. I'm not gonna help somebody else with theirs. Oh, Billy, we have so much to catch you up on. We have touched a booby. I hate that word, booby. Make a whole different story appear just by pressing these buttons. An electronic comic book? That's amazing. Yeah. I like, uh, choose your own adventure. I mean, not that we have to know right now. We don't. But if we think that it could turn into something else. Maybe now's a good time to tell her that you're actually like a nine-year-old trapped in a 30-year-old's body. Maybe. Miss Patterson, could you get them on the oh, phone? waiting for, for, for me. Oh, it's a list of Zoltar things? Who the f you think you are? Hey. You watch your mouth! I'm your best friend. It's more important than that, huh? Oh, well. <laughs> I'm a cry. I completely forgot about trying to find the Zoltar machine. I got too wrapped up in Susan and Josh's relationship, clearly. Ah, uh, yes. I have a floppy disk to save the information that is on my CD-ROM that I can put into my... That's not a Macintosh. I don't know. I don't know what brand that is. Now, don't be standing around a school like that, looking creepy. That's a good way to get banned from school grounds. Come here. You can tell me anything. What? You're not ready for this one, Susan. It's not an affair. It's not another woman. I miss my family, Susan, and I want to go home. Oh, oh my, my God. God, you're married. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I mean. Uh, I'm 13 years old. Oh, and who is it? Oh, here I was thinking he was nine. So I'm gonna get some sleep. Girl, that shirt doesn't do anything for your figure. God, lady, how many, how many lapels you need on a jacket? This is a definition of things got way out of hand, but like in the best way possible. He could have ended up homeless on drugs, but instead he's a vice president of a toy company. Like, wow. Well, you expect a kid to pay $19 for a comic book? I think a kid. There you go, girl. You put it together. You want to know something? I'm sitting here thinking about whether or not I would make this decision. If I were Josh, would I go back to being a child? And I don't know. That's why I've been quiet for so long, because I'm sitting here like <laughs> pros and cons and everything. What's it say? It moved too fast. I couldn't read it. I've been thinking about it, and there's a million reasons for me to go home, but there's only one reason for me to stay. You. you. My heart. Because it's not like y'all could be friends 
when he reverts so because would, would, that'd be weird. She'll find somebody else that will help her ladder climb in the company. It doesn't matter. What a weird story whenever, you know, you and the boys crack a cold one and you want to talk about your first time. How do you explain this story? You really about to walk into your parents' house? They didn't believe you. What, what makes them going to believe you now? He turned back into a kid already? Right there in the middle of the street in front of God and everybody. It's over already? Well, hell, let's talk about it. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it's official. We can go ahead and add Tom Hanks to the list of my future ex-husbands. What a little cutie butt. This is such a cute movie. And Penny Marshall, you can never go wrong with Penny Marshall, honestly. Wow, what a good movie this was. I really didn't know what I was getting myself into, but this is a very fun concept of a movie. Like a little kid making a wish to be big and him being big. I wanna put myself in Josh's shoes for a moment. You know, like I said, if he were like a drug addict and homeless, like go back to being a kid, but he was having a super successful career. I don't know. I don't know. I think I would, uh, I think I would try to like get with Billy to prove to my parents that it really is me because he was doing so well for himself, you know? He had a booth thing, he had a great job, a cool apartment. Now what happens? Does him as a grown person just go missing? And is, is there a missing persons campaign started for that, Josh? I'm probably not supposed to think that hard into it. And this was a very cute movie and such a cute concept. I had a great time. I love Tom Hanks. Actually, speaking of Tom Hanks, I put another poll up on Patreon to see what is coming up Monday. And I think we might have two Tom Hanks back to back. So let's just go ahead and see. Forrest Gump is beating the Karate Kid. 231 votes for Forrest Gump right now and 118 for the Karate Kid. So it looks like we're getting two Tom Hanks back to back. <laughs> so now you know what's coming up Monday. But for this movie, I had a great time. Still so funny. It's so wholesome. This is a great movie and I think it holds up super well. I mean, of course, like computers and things and games have changed. Sure. But like the humor is spot on. The message of the movie is, is it's just great. It's all around great movie. I had a great time. If you haven't seen the 1988 Big, you need to do it. I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. I laughed a lot. Uh, character development. I had a good time. That's that about that on that and I loved it. And I love Tom Hanks. So I can't wait to see him in Monday's Millennial Movie Monday, which is Forrest Gump. And also I've eaten, I know that the restaurants, Bubba Gump, the shrimp place, the seafood place, is related to the movie. I don't know how, but the one time I went, I didn't know that I liked shrimp yet. I didn't, what? I didn't know that I liked shrimp yet, so I didn't get shrimp at a seafood place. I got chicken, so I need to go again to eat shrimp. So like, subscribe, stick around so you can catch me watching Forrest Gump on Monday and then continue the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And remember, we are basically like a month away from Halloweens. Wow. Okay. Anyways, links to social media down below, merch, Patreon, all that jazz down below in the description box if you want to be my, if you want to be my friend outside of the youtube -iverse. And until then, I guess I will see you on Monday for Forrest Gump. Oh wait, I need to tell you my limousine story. Okay, this is very sad. You know, okay, so only one person has seen me out and about. His name is Tom. He met me at a, hist a Knoxville History Project event. I don't know what you guys think I would be like if you met me in real life, but if you follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on, like, this is me. You can ask any of my, like, IRL friends, like, this is me. This is what you get. Anyways, and I have always been this weird. Anyways, I grew up in a very strict household, which also kind of explains why I've never seen any movies, but I only got to go to my senior prom, okay? And I went by myself, cause your girl was not, is, you, your girl went by herself. Anyways, so when I was taking pre-prom pictures, ooh, so a group of people who like I was cool with, I wasn't like, I don't know. I just, I was like a floater. I didn't really have like a core friend group. Anyways, so people I was cool with were like, hey, Ashley, we have an extra seat in the limo. And I was like, okay, great. And a couple of the girls in the limo were kind of mean, but I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to ride in this limo. Well, so we're taking pre-prom pictures and we all get in the limo. The extra seat that they saved for me in the limo was the floor. 
All right, we'll see you back here on Monday for Forrest Gump. <laughs> that was my nap alarm. <laughs> Beans, come here. Come here. Come be in this intro. You never hear this early. Come here. Oh my god, the other thing about nose rings or like the nose hoops is that like you get a hair stuck in there. <laughs> it's in there till you get it out. <laughs> I got it. Ugh.